Let's say you have a presentation and you want to somehow emphasize the color or design of your background picture but you have plenty of text on your slides. You want to make the text readable by adding a shade or dark shade on your background but you want at the same time flex your background photo. It dances you and you do not know what to do. Hi, this is PR10 Slides and believe me, I know that feeling. And I'm here to help you with your problem. Introducing Glass Morphism Design. Today, I will teach you on how you could achieve this kind of design on your presentation so that you could have your text or content on your slide and at the same time, flexing the design or color of your background. Alright, let's start! Alright, so we are starting off with our blank presentation page as usual and the first thing that we need to do is to of course choose your desired photo for your main background but for today's tutorial let's just use what we have here on our presentation earlier so we will just paste it here on our slide and the next step that you need to do this is really an important step in order for us to achieve this glass morphism effect all right so let's um, right click on the image and select format picture all right in here under the artistic effects section as you can see there's a lot of things that you could choose um, right over here plenty of artistic effect but what we want here is this blur effect there you go and after that set the radius to 80 and let's just wait for it to load there you go so we have now a blurred image right over here so the next thing that you need to do is to copy this blurred photo and after that um go to artistic effect and remove the blur effect of your photo and after that set this picture right over here aside let's set that aside and click here the white photo the white background right over here and as you click that on your right side it says format background go ahead and select picture or texture fill and select clipboard there you go now you have your blurred photo as your main background and we also have this original photo at the top of it there you go and we will just put it back on its original position there you go so the next thing that we need to do is to create this shape this class morphism shape all right so we will just go here on shapes and let's use this rectangle rounded corners there you go and let's resize it first all right so here are the two shapes using the round circular rectangle that we have um, selected earlier so here's the two different um i mean two variations of sizes for our presentation all right so the next thing that you need to do is first let's select all of these shapes that we have here and right click on it and go ahead and click format object there you go and as you can see here uh, under the format shape section there are plenty of options right over here and what we want here in order for us to achieve the glass morphism effect is selecting this slide background fill there you go now the feel of these shapes um, is the blurred background that we have created earlier and we are just using this original photo right over here in order for us to cover the blurred main background photo that we have right over here there you go and the next thing that we need to do is just to add um, color for the shape outline of these two shapes right over here let's say color white and then let's increase the transparency of the shape outline to 75 
there you have it. Now you, you have your um, plain and empty glass morphism right over here. And the next step that you need to do is just to add emphasis on these two shapes right over here for your glass. Alright, so we will just add some minimal, you know, shadows in order for us to clearly see the difference of the background and also these glass shapes. Alright, so let's first select this shape right over here. Go to shadow and hit, um, let's use this offset bottom right. There you go. Increase the transparency of it to 75. Then the blur effect of it, let's say um, 30. There you go. And the distance of it, let's say 30 as well. Or probably 25. Or 20. Alright, let's see. Alright, there you go. As you can see, we now have a shadow effect for our glass morphism right over here. And just do the same thing right over here on this bigger shape. We'll just add, um, we'll just increase the transparency to 75 and the blur of it to 25, say 25 and the distance would be 20. There you have it. Now you have your glass morphism on your presentation. Easy, right? So the next step that we need to do is just to design this page and just add some text, photo, and basically your content. And let's try to make it um, like a website design for our presentation today. So I've decided to just copy what we have here earlier. There you go, and it's all up to you if you would like to choose. It's all up to you if you would like to choose different color tones, follow different color palettes. It's all up to you, but for me, I would just like to stick on my design earlier, and I would just like to teach you on how you could achieve um, this glass morphism that we have created earlier. There you go. So, in order for me to achieve the morph transition effect earlier i've just duplicated this slide and all right, all right but before that let's just group them first the text the content rather and the shape and we will duplicate the slide there you go and on here on the third um i mean on your first slide what you need to do is just to select your content and then Move it a little bit down right over here at the bottom of your slide. Basically out of the box. There you go. And let's just rearrange the rearrange the content. There you go. And in here, on here on your second slide, just go to transition and go ahead and add your morph transition. There you go. Now let's see what we have here so far. Magnificent! Perfect! So that's how you do the glass morphism effect or design on your presentation. It's all up to you if you want to design it on your own. Just be creative as much as possible and I truly believe in you and I think you could do really better designs than what we have here. Alright, I think this is the end of our tutorial today and if you've learned something from it and Hopefully you could use this um, glass morphism design on your presentation in the future. Please do not forget to subscribe, like this video, comment down your thoughts or what do you think about this glass morphism effect. And also do not forget to hit the notification bell for you to become updated on our future PowerPoint tutorials, hacks, and also premium PowerPoint giveaways. This is PR10 Slides and I hope to see you next time. God bless, cheers, and may all have a wonderful day ahead.